Miles Bridges will make his return against the Milwaukee Bucks. It is already set. Listen, I'm going to give you everything you need to know involving the things that Miles Bridges will be bringing to the table. I repeat, Miles Bridges will make his return on November 17th when the Hornets host the Milwaukee Bucks at 7 p.m. as part of the in-season tournament. And so, yeah, better buckle up. Did you hear what I just said? Miles Bridges is about to get dropped in the middle of an in-season tournament. <laughs> Listen, the Charlotte Hornets, I like what's going on. You know, um, you couldn't ask for three, you know, good games to start the season. I think the Charlotte Hornets could definitely start the season 3-0, and you know, and then definitely get a couple of games in the mean uh, middle and things of that nature. You got the Wizards back to back. Um, I think that's going to be a game that they possibly can get, maybe both, and let's see what happens. Uh, I want to see where they fare by the time Miles Bridges gets back because that's really going to tell, you know, are the Charlotte Hornets going to be playing catch up all season or are they going to be ready to just take the next step and just really elevate to the next level? Because you got to understand something, you know, um, this is going to be crazy in this Eastern Conference. And I know that 10 games, you might say, oh, man, it's just 10 games. It ain't very serious. Listen, 10 games is very real. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you understand what I'm talking about. Only people that really know basketball understand that these 10 games are very crucial. And if the Charlotte Hornets mess around and blow all these games or they go one and nine or two and two and eight or so, you know, I, I think that um, the, the season could be doomed. But if they could somehow go, what, five and five, I think you could be optimistic. You know, anything over five, I think it's just spectacular. But they got to make sure they win at least five of these games. You know, you can't you can't lose more than five. Hell, you want to win every single game, but you start by, you know, holding down the fort at home. The NBA definitely gave them major, you know, credit by allowing them to basically start the season with three home games before they take it on the road. And, that, and that's really good because when they play Houston, Houston is a tough team. Houston is nothing to mess around with. But I want to get into the Milwaukee Bucks because... Pardon me, Giannis Antetokounmpo is going to be a very formidable foe. Uh, they are coming off of a nasty defeat. We all know the, the Miami Heat just had their way. You know, they couldn't do nothing with Jimmy Butler. They couldn't do nothing with Bam out of bio. It was just in a, it was, it was just in a frenzy. You know, I almost felt sorry for him. I'm just going to be on the road, road with you. It, it was truly hurtful. You know, but um, what I will say is... Um, is, <laughs> I, I don't know what's going to happen with the Milwaukee Bucks. I really can't tell you. I can't say I'm confident that they're going to do something this season because I'm not. You know, I truly feel like the Milwaukee Bucks are a joke. You know, I feel like the Milwaukee Bucks are a laughing stock of a franchise. And I think that the Milwaukee Bucks, they just continue to, you know, just have high expectations. They have great regular seasons, and then they completely flop in the playoffs. They're on complete flop alert, you know, and that's because Giannis Antetokounmpo can't shoot. So when you have your best player and he can't shoot, you're in a world of trouble. You know, you're in a complete world of trouble there. There's no way that they're going to be able to really do something in the postseason. All of these things that you do in the postseason as far as attacking the basket and, um, you know, things of that nature, it's just um, the contact is even more severe. So Giannis is not just going to the free throw line. And Giannis isn't. The people are really making sure they hold up against him. You know, they daring him to shoot. You know, and he's going to the free throw line and he's airballing. And uh, I think that if the Charlotte Hornets play their cards right, they can beat the Milwaukee Bucks when when uh, Miles Bridges gets back. Because Miles, when, when Miles gets back, he's going to give the Hornets an injection of life. You know, uh, obviously it's going to be an emotional game. It's his first game back. Um, they didn't even know if they'll ever play together again. 
Uh, he's very thankful. I think that um, Miles is going to really just hold it down for the Hornets as a leader. And he's going to get his first opportunity when he goes up against these Bucks. Um, I don't know what's going on with Chris Middleton. You know, um, I'm not really, a, a like I said, a major fan um, of the Bucks, but... I do know that they are one of the heavyweights in the Eastern Conference. I'm not that silly, you know, to not recognize that. The Milwaukee Bucks are a very tough basketball team. They they clearly made some um some moves this off season, you know, but um their schedule is rocking and rolling. If you're a Bucks fan, you know, we could get into that as well. You know, um like I, like I said, the Milwaukee Bucks, they get you excited, and then it's really all for nothing. But let's see if they can continue to do what they have to do and eventually, inevitably, capture another title. You know, um, they this is, a, this is a team, in my opinion, they don't have the luxury of fooling around. They can't say, oh, man, we the Milwaukee Bucks. Y'all just lost in the first round. Y'all got to go prove it again, you know. Um, but it, it is what it is. The Milwaukee Bucks' first game will be against the Philadelphia 76ers. So that's going to be crazy. Joel Embiid is going to be nothing to mess around with. Um, that should be tough. I want to know when they play Miami because that's, that's really going to be the game when they go up against Miami. Then we're going to get Miami right away. That that should have been the opening night game. But it is what it is. Um, the, the Milwaukee Bucks got Philly, New York, Indy, Dallas, Boston. And then we got Miami. Okay, we're going to Miami on the 27th of November. That's going to be a heck of a game. Um, I, man, I'm going to be live streaming that. Make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Um, and then we all know they're going up against Charlotte. So um, I, I think that it's going to be some notable, notable performances. And like I said here at Flight Sports, we're going to be documenting it all. And make sure you subscribe, man. It's going to be a great, great NBA season. I got Miles Bridges taking his game to the next level. Last time he was on the roster, he was the leading scorer. Not by much, you know, but he was... You know, um, he's he's going to be great. And Miles don't get enough credit for all the things he brings to the table as Duncan in terms of playmaking, in terms of, like I said, mid-range. Um, just the way he goes to the basket looking for his teammates, man. The Hornets are real. And Miles Bridges is back. And their first game is against the Milwaukee Bucks. You better buckle up. It's going to be a scary sight. It's Flight Sports TV.